in Southern every Friday night. It's phenomenal. Nevada with the kick. McRoy will take it at the three-yard line. Out over the 15. Spin still on his feet. Kicks it outside to the 25, the 30, 35, 40. Finally knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Well, I'll tell you what, you got to give Nevada credit because they keep kicking it to him, but it's getting close. I mean, if he gets one more, he might take it to the house because this field position is phenomenal. Right now, the game clock is one of the biggest things to pay attention to as Texas Tech is set up great by a big-time run by their special team star, Ben McCroy. A 36-yard return. Texas Tech will now have it. First and 10 at their own 44-yard line. 439 to play. They trail by six. And whistles blow right before the snap. Penalty flag down. And that's going to be a false start on Texas Tech. Offense, five-yard penalty, first down. Well, Desmond, Nevada offense has done their part. It's up to the defense now if they're going to seal this game. Definitely, right before they entered the field, a lot of them were saying, one more stop, one more stop. We're so close, we're so close. It's been a long road trip for these guys. A win tonight would go a long way in making things a whole lot better with Nevada. Absolutely. Diggy hands it off to Stevens. Out to midfield, still on his feet. As he pulls his way down inside the 45-yard line for a Texas Tech first down. Well, Texas Tech is going to win this game. It's going to be behind number 24, Eric Stevens, and their quarterback, Seth Dagey. They live for these moments. Stevens has 24 carries for 131 yards. Dagey looking to pass this time. Has a receiver, and it is caught at the 40-yard line, Alex Torres hauls it in. Hey, this defense of Nevada is doing a little bit different things right now. They are bringing pressure, trying to make Texas Tech get rid of the football. Brought two defenders on the last snap. Let's see if it continues. Second and seven. They got to get it down to the 35 for a first down. They'll hand this one to Stevens, and he'll be dropped at the 40-yard line, or just short. About a half-yard gain on the play. This is a very unique situation. Coaches call it a four down situation. That means you treat third down like it's second down because you know a field goal, well, this late in the game, the way that Nevada's really controlled the football, you might go for it on fourth down. So you try right here just to get half. Wouldn't be shocked if they run the football. Third and six, ball on the 40 yard line. 320 to play in the ball game. Texas Tech needs a touchdown. Deggy looking to pass, has his receiver caught, out of bounds, and it's a first down for Texas Tech as Jacoby Franks hauled it in. Well, these, first and 10 at the 33. These receivers led by Jacoby Franks have really stepped up after the loss of Darren Moore. That'll stop the clock, but Texas Tech won't slow their rhythm. They're in a good pace right now. They've got Nevada on their heels. Deggy looking to pass again. Pressured out. He'll run with it. 35, 30, 25, 20. Inside the 10 and finally knocked out of bounds at the Nevada seven yard line. A 26 yard run. Well, he wasn't asked to run a lot at Friendship High School back in the day, but he's showcasing his savvy and his awareness for the football field. With all those defenders, they want to run to the receivers. He's going to tuck it and run a huge gain and a big-time night right now in all phases for this first-year starter. Daggy seven carries, 84 yards in this ballgame. He'll hand this one off to Stevens. Stevens inside the five and pulled down around the three-yard line. Now that the chess match really in suits you know we're at two almost two and a half minutes left in this ball game right now and if you're texas tech you don't want to be, continue to be a quick strike team you want to use this play clock because you do not want to give nevada a ton of time there's 213 left in the ball game five receivers out there for texas tech second and goal just inside the five Deggy's going to keep it Stop! Just short. 
They'll mark him down at the one yard line. You got to love the will of college football players. Seth Dagey, he's willing himself into that end zone, trying to. And James Michael Johnson and Brandon Marshall, the heart of that defense in Nevada, saying, no way, not tonight. Now here we go, third and goal. Bad snap. Dagey has to pick it up. It's a broken play, and he'll be stopped at the four-yard line. So now it'll be fourth and goal under a minute and a half to play. You got three timeouts. It looks as though Texas Tech is going to go for it here on fourth down. Down six. Now Texas Tech needs this touchdown. They trail by six. Play clock at 15. They might have to call a timeout here. They're changing personnel. But these are situations they practice every day in practice. They're rotating personnel on and off the field. Play clock under five. Two seconds on the play clock. One, zero, and that's going to be a delay a game on Texas Tech. Now they may have called a timeout just in time. And they had no choice at that point. I know they wanted to save those timeouts so that if they don't score here, at least defensively, you'd have a shot at getting the ball back. But now the game's going to boil down to one play with 44 seconds left and Texas Tech inside the Nevada Five. 44 seconds left of the game. Texas Tech down six with the ball at the four. They had it at the one, Yogi, but a bad snap cost them some yards. Well, this snap, it looks like quarterback Seth Dagey just took his eyes off a little bit. Now, remember, the center right there, Justin Cowan, he was a starter before the season, got hurt. This is the first time he's played this year. And remember, there's no Darren Morey sprained his ankle in the first quarter, not in the ball game. So we'll see who Dagey chooses to go to here. Fourth and goal. Ball just inside the four. This is the ball game. Dagey back to pass has time now scrambling looking for somebody fires into the end zone open receiver touchdown Texas Tech Eric Ward with the touchdown reception and for the moment we're all tied up quarterback Seth Dagey he looks like a true veteran he's just buying his time great protection up front Second touchdown, Eric Ward. 36 seconds left in the ball game. Donnie Corona on to kick the extra point and give Texas Tech a one-point lead. Kick is up, and it's good. 35-34, Red Raiders.